Now, as a student, you will be receiving an email invitation to join a conference. So, when you go to your course, you will choose Conferences. And after you do that, you will see that there is a conference in progress, if your instructor has started it. Probably the instructor has, so click Join. And when you click Join, you are faced with this user interface which loads at the speed that your internet connection will allow and where you can join the audio. Now at this point you must make sure that your microphone is working. If it is not, well you will face issues. And some of those are going to be beyond the technical scope of this tutorial. But if you are just going to listen and not take part with audio, you can choose listen only. And that may be your out. That will get you into the meeting so that you can at least hear what is going on. Now I'm going to choose microphone. And I will see these microphone position, uh, permissions. And so that will pop up. Would you like to share your microphone? So I'm going to go ahead and choose USB audio device and I'm going to click share selected device and now I will be given an audio test in which I should be able to hear what I am saying it is recommended that you use the type of headphone shown with a microphone boom these are relatively inexpensive they could cost uh, anywhere from 25 to 40 bucks depending on the model but it's a USB plug-and-play type of microphone which will launch the moment you plug it into your computer and your computer should give you a notification that the device is working properly in any event if you hear yourself go ahead and click yes and now you can be heard in the meeting environment so don't be alarmed if the instructor changes the layout right now you're looking at the default layout but let's say the instructor wishes to change it to something like this you will see changes take place in your meeting and they will be involuntary so just be advised that these things can happen and you will be in good shape so I will go back to the default layout and change it back to the default you may communicate at any time with your instructor by typing in a message. Yeah, misspelled as it is. And your instructor will probably type something back. So that's basically it for how Big Blue Button works. And when you're done, you can simply just close the window and you are done.